Okay, my Kayla crew, today I have an Express haul to share with you. Now, it's been quite some time since I've purchased anything from Express. Now, I had asked you guys what stores you wanted to see me shop from, and one of the stores that was mentioned was Express. So I thought, you know what, let me check it out. I picked out four pieces, so let's jump in and see what I got. Okay, let's get started. Now, I did purchase everything online, so I will go ahead and link and list everything below as long as it's still available. Now, when I made my purchase, almost everything was 50% off, so I got some really good deals. So I will tell you what I paid for and the original price on the tag. Just watch for those sales. You know they're gonna happen again, probably as we get closer to the holidays, and you know what, probably right after the holidays, there'll be really good sales, so just, just keep your eye out. All right, so the first piece that I picked up was this oversized eight asymmetrical tunic sweater. I loved it on the model. I thought it was absolutely adorable. I don't know if I was crazy about it on me. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. Now, I did stick with my normal size extra large. I loved the color. It feels like a really great quality sweater. Um, I actually didn't mind the neckline. It's more of like a mock neck and it didn't feel too, too close to my neck, but I am coming around to turtlenecks just a little bit. So, you know, I think I think we're opening up a new chapter with me and turtlenecks. <laughs> but anyway, I thought the color was really pretty. It's really super soft. It does have a drop shoulder, which I showed you during the try-on. And I did stick with my normal size extra large. This sweater was originally $98. I paid $49 for it. So that's a reasonable price. I wouldn't have paid $98 for this. Um, but as you can see, it has a huge slit on the side. And I don't know if that was the most flattering for me. What do you think? I just think it makes me look wider. Um, let me tell you the fabric. So I think I'm going to end up returning this one because I'm not completely sold on it. So let's see. Where are we? Okay, so it's 54% nylon and 46% acrylic. Turn garment inside out. Machine wash cold with light colors on a gentle cycle. And where were you made? Maybe it's like the loft in there the tags on the top. Let's see. Is it? Yep. Made in China. So I do think I'm going to return this one. I think the shape was cute. I think I'm the right person. Like I'm going to put a picture on the side. Now you saw the side by side with me trying it on. I'm going to show you how it looks on the model. Cause I think it looks really cute on the model. I just don't think it looked right on me. So I am going to return this one. All right, let me show you the next piece. Okay, so the next three pieces that I'm going to share with you, I actually saw styled online together on the model, and I thought they looked really cute together and would make for a great work outfit, so I had to give them a try myself. So let's start with the sweater. I thought the sweater was so cute. This is the first piece that I was drawn to. I just loved the design, and I thought the color was so different. You know, what are they calling this color? I probably should tell you that, huh? They're calling it Turtle. Oh, that's a fun name for this sweater. Now this, you know what they're called? I should tell you the name of the sweater too. This they're calling the Ribbed Design Crew Neck Sweater. And I think it's a really fun sweater. So it does have a crew neck. And then look at the ribbed design. I love that. I think it's so different. It does have a drop shoulder, which I showed you during the try-on. And then the back is just, has the regular ribbing compared to the front. That doesn't bother me. Sometimes if the back's totally different than the front, I don't care for that, but I don't think it's that different. It is kind of an oversized sweater. It's wide and it's a little bit short. Do you think it's too short and too wide? I definitely couldn't size down. I just think that sizing down would bring the length up even more. I don't know, I really like this sweater. And I think I'm going to keep it. So I did stick with an extra large. And let me tell you, so it was made in China. It was originally, where are you? $80. I paid $40, which is not a bad price for this. And you could tell this is a good quality sweater too. Let's see. Where is the fabric tag? Here we are. Come on. Is it up? There we go. 55% cotton, 35% polyester, and 10% wool. I don't feel like there's any wool in this at all. Turn garment inside out, machine wash cold with light colors on a gentle cycle. So I think this is going to be a keeper. I really like the color. I think the color is different. And I love the ribbed design. I just think it's so pretty. And I think it kind of elevates the look a little bit, don't you? I really do. Okay, so let's, I think this is a keeper. I'll be right back and I'll show you the pants. 
Okay, let's move on to the pants. These are the Editor Super High Waisted Straight Ankle Pant. Now, I did pick them up in a size 16 short. If you're new here, just for reference, I am 5'2", and a lot of times, not all, but a lot of times, I will pick up my pants in either a petite or a short size. And so I thought I would try them in a short from Express and I think they worked lengthwise. What do you think? I showed you without shoes and then I showed you next. Well, you're gonna see them, the bottom of them when I show you the booties that I picked up too. Um, so you'll see kind of where the length hits if you wear them with shoes. So I think the length fit well for them being an ankle pant and they were really comfortable too. I feel like they'd be a good work pant. I may see what other colors these come in. I think I'm gonna end up keeping these. I know I have a ton of black pants, but I personally feel like we can never have too many black pants. I work in an office and so I'm wearing black pants probably three days a week. And so I feel like adding a new pair can never hurt, right? It can't. <laughs> I'm just trying to convince myself, you know, I have a shopping problem and I just, I can't help it. So I did, I told you what size I picked these up in. Oh, these were $80 originally. So I got them for 40, which is not a bad price for pants, right? All right, let's see. These were made in Vietnam, 91% polyester and 9% spandex machine wash cold with light colors on a gentle cycle. Um, they have your classic like fly area and then they have the hook and eye closure as well at top with the two hook and eyes and then they have the button just like your classic, you know, uh, work pants. And they also have the belt loop too. Oh, and they have pockets. So I think I'm going to keep them. You guys let me know what you think. I did like them and I have a lot of like full length work pants. I don't have many ankle length and I think these looked good. So yeah, let me know what you think. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab the booties. Okay, ladies, how cute are these booties? They are adorable. I just love the style of them. They're calling these the faux leather comma heel booties and I did pick them up in a size eight. They were originally $78. I got them for $39, which is a great price. However, I personally did not think they were comfortable. I read the reviews online before I purchased them, and a lot of reviewers were saying that they were comfortable. So I thought, oh, they'll be fine for me. I'm on my feet quite a bit at work. You know, I'm going up and down the stairs to the other floors, or I'm running down the hallway, going to the printer, whatever it is, or going to the other building really quick. You know, a lot of the people at work say, Kayla, we know when you're there, we hear clickety clackety all day long, you know, down the hallway. So yeah, I'm known for my heels at work, my heeled booties. I wear them pretty much every single day to work. So I thought, huh, they'll be comfortable. I was wearing these just for the try on and I walked around the house just a little bit. I didn't find them to be comfortable. So I don't know, I'm gonna send these back because I don't think I'd reach for them unless I was going to an event, but even then, if I'm going to wear these to like a party or something like that, I want to look cute, but I still want to be comfortable because otherwise I think I'd be pulling these off after a little while. Let's talk about them though. I love the style. They have a pointed toe and then they have a thinner heel, which I like. A lot of the booties that I have have a thicker heel, but I like this look. They have the zipper on the inside of the booty. So yeah, I thought they were cute but they were just not comfortable. So I am going to send these back, but I like the height of them and I thought they'd be perfect with those black pants that I just shared with you, but I'll have to look for a similar pair because these were just not comfortable in my opinion. So yep, going to return these. All right, I'll be right back and we will do a recap. Okay, so what did you think of my Express haul? So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to keep that ribbed design sweater. I love the design of it and I love the color. I think it's something different. So I am going to add that piece to my closet, the pants. I'm going to try them on with shoes that I have in my closet right now. If I can't find a pair of shoes that I like with them, I'm going to send them back because I just won't reach for them. I'd rather not keep them and try to hunt for shoes to wear with them. You know what I mean? So I do think I'm going to return those. I can always repurchase them if I end up finding a pair of shoes that works with those pants. So that's kind of my thought process. And then the shoes just weren't comfortable to me. So I'm going to return those and I'm bummed because I love the style of them. So yeah, I'm just going to look for a similar pair. And that first sweater, I'm going to send back. I liked it. I just didn't love it. And so I'm not going to add pieces that I just like to my closet 
only love. So anytime we purchase one item of clothing from a haul or a box or a store, I feel like it's, it's a success, right? So anyway, I'll be checking out Express again. I thought they had some great quality pieces and I'll be on the hunt for a sale because their original prices are a little bit on the higher end. And so I'll just make sure that I catch another like 40 or 50% off sale. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video because I've been doing a lot of shopping, so get ready. And I hope you're all having a great day. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you all very soon for some more clothing and fashion.